Hey guys, some of you have been in contact say you're worried about massive gaps in your knowledge and what can you do to fill up those massive gaps? So here are a few bits of advice if you think that you've got massive gaps for whatever reason. So gaps in your knowledge are not a good thing. I don't mean to sound like harsh or mean but they're not a good thing because it might come up in the exam so we need to fix those gaps. Now the easiest way for you to do this is to get hold of your exam specification. Now if you're doing AQA for science if you go over to my website I've made like a nice student friendly version um, we can download that for free. Otherwise I'm afraid it means delving deep into the recesses of the exam board's website which can be a pretty confusing place to get to if you don't know what you're looking for. And when you do eventually find the specification, um, you need to make sure it's the right one. So you need to make sure it's the right year, make sure it's linear or um, modular, and you need to make sure that you've got the right exam code on there. Now this can be the bit that's confusing. If you're confused, the best thing you can do is ask your teacher or ask me and I'm gonna do my best to help you. Once you have the specification, ignore the majority of it. Yeah, I know. Because the majority of it is aimed at teachers and is very, very long and is very, very wordy. What you're looking for are kind of like the lists that are in there of the subject's content. And you basically need to use these as checklists. Do I know this? Yes or no. Do I know this? Yes or no. Do I know this bit? Yes or no. Once you know it, take it off, you know. Make your flashcards on it, find some past paper questions on it. Don't just go, do I know it? Oh yeah, okay, I know it. Make sure you properly know it. And if there's like a massive section that you've missed, well then you're gonna have to try and fill in that gap. But at least now you'll know what the gaps are. And that's the first part, working out where the gaps are. Now to fill in these gaps, it's just going to be like revising any other topic. Use your vision guides, use YouTube videos, use your friend's books, maybe you borrow them, just take a photo of their book or photocopy their book if you can. Get the textbooks, ask your teachers for help, just try and get some information on uh, the sections that you've missed and try and fill in those gaps. And it's really, really important that you do this because even if you miss like one lesson, well, maybe that one lesson was balancing equations, which comes up in every single exam. So it's quite an important lesson. Um, if you met and you missed was maybe kind of like, I don't know, a practical, maybe it's not quite so important, but you still need to catch up what you've missed. Now, if you've missed whole chunks of school for some reason, um, again, don't worry too much about this, because the worst thing you can do is just stress yourself out at this time. Work out what you don't know, work out how long you've got until the exams and start planning. Divide it up so you do a little bit each day. Don't just sit there and feel like you have to plough through the entire thing until you get to the end because that will just stress you out. Divide it up nicely and evenly so it's not too overwhelming or too intimidating. Get your vision guide, start making flashcards, start doing past papers exactly the same way you would advise for anything else um so i hope that was helpful guys i hope that um was useful for you this is part of a long long series loads of things to do with revision and studying if you've got any more questions go and look at the other videos um or just ask me and i'll do my best to help you